Y'all know what time it is. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRot.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Chaos Coaching video. Today we're not going to waste much time. I did get a new controller from the last video, so we should be good on that front. We're going to jump over to the lineup We get right into the game. But as we look over the lineup, guys, the only real change we made was upgrading from Patrick Mahomes to Michael Vick. For those of you who don't know, there's a little bit of a, I guess you could say, glitch going around with roaming Deadeye. It's basically dashing Deadeye mixed with crossbody Deadeye. Essentially, if you let go of RT, like right before you pass it, he'll still continue running, but it'll be a Deadeye pass using that roaming Deadeye. So he has that in Escape Artist. Being as fast as he is, he's very, very effective. So we had to go up to him. Only real change, the rest of the team will just fly through it. It's the same as last video. I do want to ask you guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please continue to hit the like button. It really helps me out as I grab these pictures back. And also, guys, just let me know how I can improve these. I continue to try to uh, be as basically be as descriptive as possible with what I'm doing. And any way that I can help you, I would love to know. Uh, so going into today's game, it could be it could be three games. It could be four. If you guys aren't familiar with these, I basically just break down all my adjustments throughout the entire game, essentially giving you guys my reasons for why I do a certain coverage or why I do a certain adjustment, whatever the case may be. Sometimes people quit out. I have to get into another game. So sometimes these videos are three games. Sometimes it's one. So we'll see how it goes. Team strategy. Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense. That's it for the team. Get into the game. All right, let's look at his team. So that's our team. Our team is looking real good. Very attractive top three, if I do say so myself. This is his team, Deshaun Watson, Randy Moss. Got a mark that he has Moss. I always like to look at the people's uh, top three, kind of figure out where their abilities are at. I didn't see a running back. That probably means he's probably not much of a runner. Just kind of evaluating what they like to do. And if you got, for those of you who think I always do this pregame spiel, and it's very similar to all my other Chaos Coaching videos, it's true because the early game is very similar to the other games. You always have to remember that this might be someone's first time watching a Chaos Coaching video. Not everyone's been watching them all the time through. So you got to help people that like you want to give the same exact instructions in the early game because it's going to be a very similar situation. So I'm starting on offense here. Offense and defense are the same early on, whereas you're just going to want to feel out what your opponent wants to do on both sides of the ball so that you can be prepared for later game. Now, early, I'm always setting my audibles. That's something you have to do. You never want to come out into play and not be able to check out of it to, to a better play that might be more effective. You never know what your opponent's going to come out, and they could come out in nickel normal. They can come out in big dime. They could come out in 3-4 odd. You might like a certain play, run, pass, or whatever they come out in. So they came out in, uh, looks like a 1-4-6. I'm actually going to just audible down to a run. Early game, uh, on the first play, I like to audible down to a run and just not worry about getting a delay of game, and not also worry... Oh, well, that was not... I do not... You don't want to lose Eric Dickerson's uh, X-Factor in the first play. That's something you don't want to do. Now, I do run the ball in the first play simply because... I just did my subs. I did my audibles. I don't have a lot of time to get my best pass out there, right? So if I don't have the time to get my perfect pass out, well, I don't want to just call a random play, take a sack, and be on a second and 15. Second and 10 is much better. Ideally, I would have been to like a second and seven, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Right here, we're going to have our crossing route. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I did the thing where it just kept backing me up. I had let go of the left stick, but okay. If he's going to send this 146 and stay in that cover two shell, which, he's, which he did that last play... He's going to struggle to stop PAY shot, so I'm actually going to go back to it. I felt like his defense for it was not very superb, and we'll see what happens on this next play. But that's my fault for continuing to back up. Ooh, I have space. I have space. Oh, my gosh. I had space with Michael Vick. I also have my crossing route wide open. This is not how we wanted to start the game. Now, if I'm giving you guys coaching advice, uh, I'd probably say punt the ball here. You haven't seen your, guy play off your, your opponent play offense yet. And with that being said... You don't want to give him a short field, right? But that, but you also can keep in mind he has Moss, and he's gonna to have to waste his Moss or just not keep him in the game for this first uh, for this first possession. So we'll see how it goes here, and we're gonna pick it up. Good for us. That worked out. A little bit of a slow start. A little bit of a slow start. But now we're gonna get it rolling. So I'm actually gonna pause the game here. And I'm actually gonna put Bo Jackson in for Eric Dickerson. I start Eric Dickerson with Freight Train because Freight Train is so very powerful. But once he loses it, Bo Jackson is the best non-ability running back in the game. He's 99 speed. He's super, super good. And so I put him at the starter. So that's just something I do. I have two running backs. I have that luxury. Not everyone will. Just something I like to do. Now, I'm actually going to audible down to a, to a run again. Just trying to be effective. Keep him on his toes. If he's going to sit in this weak defense, I should be able to run on it. We'll see how it goes right here. Ooh, we have space. We have space. Bo, Bo, Bo. Oh, don't let him trip me. Well, I told you guys these early drives, they're feel out drives, right? Well, I've noticed that he's been in 146, has not came out of it. I had an effective run, and he, every time I pass, he sat in a cover two. Don't want to take that hit. But every time I've played against him, he's sitting. Uh, I've 
ran a play against him, excuse me. He's been in this 146. He's sat in this cover too. I'm gonna keep in those things. I'm keeping those things in my back of my head. So when if I have a big play, third down, fourth down, I'm gonna assume he's probably gonna sit in the cover four shell. Just things that I'm mental noting, saving for later. He's also every time he's been in this, sent the blitz. Randy Moss got bagged. Oh no, that was Terrell Owens that got bagged. We'll playmaker up. Little Vic. That's something that Vic does that Mahomes, Mahomes probably only gets six or seven right there. Cause once he crosses the line, he slows down. Vic doesn't slow down by much. He's got probably now I think 97 speed, if I if I remember correctly. Now, something else I'm gonna note here is uh now that i have a lefty quarterback i have to get used to this i talked to you guys before about handoffs so when you're handing the ball off and it's, it's going to be based on your uh quarterback's hand so if they're left-handed you want to hand off with your right so like this this is better for vic and then if you're right-handed you want to do the opposite i don't know why that is why they probably just can't hand it off the fastest either way but it's the way it is in this game the handoffs work that way so if you have a left-handed quarterback you want to hand off with your right hand and vice versa. If you're a right-handed quarterback, you want to hand off with your left. Just things that you can note, things that you can help you guys for later. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to look for my running back on the right, or I'm going to look for Holt. He's been sending these yellows every single play. And when he does that, I should have uh, one of the inside routes. And we have our corner route. There's no vert hooks on the field. That's essentially what I'm saying. No vert hooks on the field. He's got a user, two different things that attack the middle of the field. Sometimes you just got to think through th things, guys. If they're sending big pressure from cover two, that means they have nothing in the middle of the field. So you can just attack attack their user, make them pick one, have good spacing. And when you have that spacing, you're going to be able to take advantage of what they don't have on the field. So he's going to have to change up from this cover two. If he sits in this cover two shell all game, he is going to struggle. And we'll see if he does that. But I'm going to audible down to a run again. He, I also don't think he has the greatest run D. He stopped it a couple times, but it's been a little bit iffy with block sheds and stuff, like just like that. That's a block shed. Yeah, it's a successful play for him. We'll go to second down. That's fine. But at the same time, is he going to live with it that like that? Is he going to continuously get block sheds every single play? I don't think so. So I can live with that as well. That's just a play where we can both we can both be okay with how it went. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the middle of the field. Whichever one he doesn't use her, I'm throwing. And oh my gosh, my running back's wide open. I press I press LT to low ball and I didn't want to pass it quite yet. And when you do that, it puts you in running mode. And of course, you can no longer pass it, right? So good defense by him. Good user. He stayed, he, he kind of hovered a little bit, making me making me hesitate just quite a second. That's a good play by him. But if, if I hadn't pressed LT, running back there is probably, probably in the end zone or at least inside the five. One well, in this quarter, we're going to the next one. Continuing to get together our drive, try to get some points here. So I'd imagine he played coverage right here. And he, ends up, he actually ends up sending pressure. We got a chance with Vic. We got a chance with Vic. We got a chance. I'm gonna go for it now. I'm gonna go for it. I'm actually gonna go hurry up and keep him in this 146. He he sent pressure and gave me a chance to scramble. I was gonna say I expect him to play coverage there and just make me throw something underneath. He didn't. Now I was gonna run the ball, but this is okay actually. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do the exact same thing I've been doing. Corner uh corner route or running back streak. We'll pick whatever whatever one he doesn't use, or I'm just watching him. And we got him. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown. Eric Dickerson, let's go, man. Come on. I told you guys, you just got to watch the user. Sometimes if they're going to play a certain type of coverage, they can only guard certain things. So if he has two cloud flats and two deep blues and a user to take away the middle of the field, how could he possibly guard a space where I have a corner out uh, with an early cut, which I can easily just low ball and a running back streak coming from the opposite side? He can't. If you just make a good read, you will pick it apart. Easy drive. Well, not an easy drive. Very much of a struggle drive, but good drive for us. Now we got to get a stop. So I told you guys offense was a feel-out drive. Now defense is a feel-out drive. He comes out in this Y-off trio, and we're going to get to kind of figure out... Ooh, ooh, he's screaming, baby. We get to figure out what he wants to do, right? So he comes out in this Y-off trio. He ran the PA play. It was a very effective play a couple of years ago. Not so much this year. That doesn't really worry me. We'll continue to see what he wants to do on offense and kind of evaluate it. So early on in the game, when you, you really want to pay attention to what formations in and what they're doing out of those formations, but you also want to pay attention to third downs third downs and longs fourth downs what they're going to what their best plays are what they're most comfortable running on an important play and they're going to go back to it later you best believe it and when they do you're going to be ready for it because you're taking mental notes so early on in this game second and 17 let's see what he does here an emotion over i'd expect him to block yeah he blocks that guy goes to the corner right he's got it oh my gosh oh my gosh that was awful defense don't don't listen to me on anything. Don't listen to me on anything. That was awful. Really bad. I'm on that deep blue. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I saw how open the corner I was gonna be. I just strolled on over to the corner route, trying to take away a 15, 17, 20 yard pass. Meanwhile, I give up a hundred yard touchdown. So 
Really bad play by me. Really bad. Don't even don't even pay attention to it all. That was awful. Don't even listen to me on that possession. Really bad. Next time around, I just got to make sure I have another deep blue to replace me if I feel like I need to use or something else. Really bad by me. That's okay. We'll put together another drive, get to feel out his off uh, his defense a lot more. We didn't get much of a feel for his uh, for his offense other than the fact he likes Y out, which pretty much anyone in Saints books is going to like Y out. So right here, I'm actually going to try to get outside the pocket and we're just going to read. Basically, we have an in route and a corner route and whatever he uses, we're going to we're going to throw the opposite. We didn't get the chop block the way we wanted. Big throw to the in route. Not the way the play I wanted it to go. I wanted to kind of read between corner and in route. He kind of, we ended up just reading between him playing my scramble and the in route. It's okay. We end up being a positive play. The corner route didn't run as fast as I wanted to either. Sometimes you have a corner. If anyone runs bunch, there's corner routes in this game that run super fast and get over clouds. And sometimes they randomly just won't do it. And that time it did that. So he's, he's, it looks like he's not pulling his guys in on these contains, trying to keep me in the pocket. Did not do a good job right there. And we were, I didn't get the dead eye because I actually, I'm still getting used to this RT thing. This is only my second day using this, but uh, Vic's just a really great player. So he throws it on the run accurately as well. Anyways, just pick it kind of just, honestly, all we're doing right now is testing and stretching his user across the field where he, he can't decide what he wants to guard because he had, we have too many things flooding the middle. He doesn't have any yellows out there to protect himself. And it looks like he's going to switch up his defense. He's going to this um, four down lineman set. It looks like either uh, like a four, six, uh, Something around that, like like that, four four split. We'll see. It's gonna be different. It's different than him sending pressure. It's gonna be coverage defense, more of a feel out again. It's kind of like we're starting over against to see what he likes to do from it. On a second look, it looks like it's more of a nickel normal, and he just had a he had a cover three shell out there. So I'm gonna correct myself right there. But I'm gonna try to attack these sidelines, see what he's in, and he's he's nowhere near my running back. These running back routes are so effective, man. It, it they, that talk about stretching a user across the field. They have to cover so much ground if they're going to take away my running backs, which is why I love split close and then taking away sideline routes when I motion out my flat. If he wants to play anything other than cover two, he's going to have to use that flat himself. So definitely things to do to to kind of make your user make his user work. Let's say he's a cover three again. And ooh, good defense, good defense. Just gonna throw the ball away. Nothing wrong with throwing the ball away either. I try to tell you guys. There's nothing wrong with just taking a down where you don't take a sack or anything and moving on to the next one, especially on a first down. There's nothing wrong with a second and 10. You guys can pick up a second and 10 in Madden. I'm actually going to put my second running back route out, make him stretch his user even more. looks like we're going to have the sideline. We're going to have the sideline. It's, it's in a cover three. He's going to have to, yeah, he's going to have to move out his flats because they can't get out there in time. They're all the way compressed inside by their linebackers. How do you expect them to just warp out to the outside to take away that flat? They can't do it. So another easy play for us, another easy game. We're doing a really good job on offense. We started to get our rhythm. We started slow. I'm not going to lie. We started real slow. We're starting to pick it up now. I was actually audible into a stretch there, but since he spread his line, I'm actually going to put it back into a dive. Bosif, Bosif, Bosif Jackson, baby. Great run. Great drive again. Now we got to try to play a little bit better defense and try to get a stop. So we're back on defense. I'm watching the fade. I'm not giving him the fade. I should be able to take away the corner out with my, with my soft squad on the right. We'll see how it goes. If, if we can't take it away, we'll give up the free yards. We're not going to give up a touchdown again. Don't think it's going to be open. Ah, uh, I, I let him go. That's bad. I'm playing bad defense right now. Let me keep him inside the pocket. He's throwing, he threw me off just a little bit just by running it uh, flipped. I don't know why that threw me off, but it, it, but it is. I'm going to keep him inside the pocket this time. I'm going to give him a spy, and we'll, we'll be able to stop his stuff. We'll be fine. Get my spy in there. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good with the defense we have here. Move this guy over. Make sure I don't get cover three beat. Oh, I get stuck. Oh, that's the worst thing you can do, man. Oh, he played making him up. Oh, fumble. I don't know how that was a fumble. That, yeah, that definitely looked like an incomplete pass to me. We'll take it. We're, don't listen to me on defense right now. I'm playing awful. I am playing awful defense and it is not, it is not going well for me right now. I'm playing bad. Don't listen to my defensive adjustments right now. However, something that you can do is just take him to the fact. Get yourself a Sean T because that man just boomed him right there. Gosh, dang. Oh, we got our corner out. Diving catch. No diving catch. We'll take the catch again, guys. He's he's stretching his user too much. It's he's making it too difficult on himself to do anything successfully. I was able to get space there, get out from safety territory. Now I can worry about passing the ball farther. It looks like he's gonna give me a touchdown to PAY shot here if I can pick up his blitz. Um, ooh, 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 he had it. And it was exactly what I said. But Lawrence Taylor came in just a second too fast, forced me over to the right. I took my eyes off it, but he gave me the touchdown. Knowing that. He'll give it to me again, and we'll take it. So we went back to this one four six. That's okay. I'll pass against that. I don't mind passing against one four six at all. We got to. We got to. Yes, sir, baby. Come on. Points before half will be huge here, guys. I'm just gonna run PAY shot again. We're not quite in field goal range. I don't have the best kickers. 
I'm lazy when it comes to kickers. He might give me a touchdown, though. He very well might give me a touchdown. Got a spy now. Got him. Feet down. Come on, Moss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's being super stubborn, not coming out of these cover two shells, and I'm just picking them apart. He's really going to have to just suck it up and get out of these cover two shells if he's going to be successful. Got both running backs. He took them both away. He did a good job. I don't want to take a sack here. Throw the ball away. So seven here would be huge. Seven would pretty much be monumental, but I can't be mad at three either. So I definitely don't want to make a mistake. Got our, oh my gosh, it didn't pass. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to probably just let the clock run and take my three. I, try, I tried to throw the outside flat. It was wide open, but I, I don't know. I guess the button just didn't input, but that's okay. Like I, what I was going to say was basically three is really, really good. To go up two possessions is great in this situation, especially with the way we play defense our first two possessions. So we'll gladly take that. We'll go into the half up 17-7. We'll try to get another stop out of halftime. You know, you think with the amount of times I've played thrown in this offense that I would be better against it, but I really am not. I always, always, always struggle against tight offset. It's just so effective this year. If you guys want a good tight offset, make sure you guys head over to Hot Route Tips. It'll be worth it. We got a box right here, though. No, we don't. He's got a touchdown. No, he doesn't because that reads better. No, he doesn't because that reads better. Yes, he does because I'm awful. What am I doing? I'm going to be completely real with you guys. I don't think that I made a bad adjustment there. I'm going to be completely honest. My deep third was on the side of the streak where the bomb comes from. And nine, I would say 99% of the time now, with how fast the DBs are, they're going to play that. So that's an adjustment I usually make. And actually, that's actually one I usually, I, I think it's pretty good. So I guess I can't make it. I'm not mad at my adjustment right there. What I am mad at is the fact that I'm only up 17-14 and he's got two free touchdowns. Well, this has not been much of a defensive chaos coaching. I hope you guys are learning something on offense. Because I'm not showing you guys much on defense. We're going to audible down to the dive. We event we actually had like a stretch run there. But I like the dive more than he now that he moved his... Gosh, I mean, his guys are just shedding. It's crazy. I feel like the run's open, but they're just shedding. But that's okay. I'm just really just trying to make sure... Keep testing him, really. Uh, if he's going to stay in the same defense, you got to make sure he stays honest. He hasn't stopped the run every time, but he stopped it most of the time with block sheds. That's okay. Got a spy out there. Good user. Oh, I was working the pocket well, too, there. I was about to have my crosser. Good D. This is becoming this is becoming a sweat. This is a tough spot. This is a spot that I don't necessarily want to be in. Get a good lurk right there in the spy. The spy gave me trouble trying to make my read on that slant. But that's okay. He's not blitzing as much now, I feel like. So we're gonna we're gonna be able to mix up our plays a little bit more. When you, when people are blitzing you heavy, it's tough to mix up your plays every single time. Should have a running back wheel. We should have a running back wheel. Possession catch. Yes, sir. Audibly down to the run again. I feel like we're doing a good job passing the ball. Even when we get behind on the sticks, we've been effective. When he blitzes, we've been effective. And when he when he plays coverage, we've been effective. I actually need to continue to make good reads. And if I can bust one of these runs, it takes a lot of pressure off me. So I'm going to try it. But I feel good against uh, against his defenses when I'm when I'm passing the ball. So I'm actually going to go to the same exact play here. He's likely to give me the post because he gave me the running back last time. So I expect him to give me the post here. And Torrey Holt should win on his route. We'll see. Yep. Torrey Holt won exactly the way I thought he would. Rat catch. Yes, sir. Uh, guys, it's just... Sometimes all it is is just reading the user. I literally called before the play. He gave me the running back wheel to play before, right? And I saw that. And I was like, okay, well, now I know that he's going to give me the post. He's not going to give me the running back twice in a row. I think this guy's a smart player. He seems to know what he's doing. He's done a good job on both sides of the ball making me work. So I just assume he's going to the running back. And I've just, I've read the user all game. That's all I've done is read the user. Knowing what your plays are going to do. Knowing what coverages they're going to beat. And making reads from there is going to be really effective. Now, I told you guys the handoff thing. And I have not been listening to myself. I keep handing off with the wrong hand. I hope you guys crush me in the comment section for that. I'm expecting heavy pressure right here. Played coverage a few times in a row. Got dotted. Ah, he didn't. He gave me the crosser. My O-line's holding up well. My O-line's holding up pretty well. They're not doing a great job on run plays, but they're doing a really, really good job on my pass plays. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm standing tall back there. I'm standing tall, and I'm not really feeling too many disengages, and they're coming after me. I'm getting time, and that's all I can ask for. So he's in this 3-4 odd. I expect pressure. We'll see if he does it. He doesn't. That's, that's good D. I expect the pressure. Oh, oh, I did the LT thing again. Playmaker, just throw the ball away. Gosh, I, I keep pressing LT too early. I was going to lowball my hitch, but that's okay. We'll go to second down. We played a cover four last time. We'll see if he moves the guy out. No, he used her. Uh, just take my flat. Just take my flat. Get up field, get up field, get up field, get up field. Broke it in half. All right. Big third down here. I really don't want to kick three. Uh, three, it's, it's still only one possession lead, but I might have to take it. We'll see. We'll see how this play goes. If I pick up a few, I probably go for it. But if I... If I only pick, if I take a sack or don't pick up anything, I might end up kicking it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm looking for both running backs right here. He's moving the guy out so I can't throw my flat. Probably going to lowball Torrey Holt if he's not using it. We'll see. Oh, he uses it. We have the running back. We have the running back. We have the running back. Yes, sir, man. Big play. Let's go. 
All right, we're just gonna try to punch this thing down here at the goal line. Seven here pretty much ends the game for me, I would imagine. Ah, Bo Jackson, man. I was gonna say, I actually messed up the timing on that motion. Um, You saw the guy fill the gap and completely hit me right at the line of scrimmage. I messed up my motion hike. I did it a little bit late, so he shot right through, but Bo Jackson just being better than anybody else. That's not, that's not coaching right there. That's really just having a really good team. Um, So if you guys can get a Bo Jackson, if you guys can afford it, go for it. Now I'm just gonna sky kick. I didn't say at the beginning of the game, but I do want to mention to you guys, make sure your settings are set to kick off first in the settings when you win the toss. Just because you don't want to, you'd love to get uh, get the ball in the second half, but if it, if you don't, make sure your second option is against the win so that you need a game-winning drive. You'll have the win for you in the fourth quarter. So just something I like to note at the beginning of the game, I forgot to do, I wanted to say that now. Now I'm in this title set. My goal here is just to not give up a one-play touchdown. Um, so what I'm going to do here, actually, he's on the same play out of it every time. I'm just going to make sure I don't give up. The one play touchdown. I'm going to replace my deep blue. I want to use it as safety still. We should we should be okay. I'll take away the corner route myself. Nothing, nothing, nothing's open. I didn't spy him. Gosh, dang it, Kent. I played a really bad defensive game. And I told you guys, I play this all the time with thrown. I'm still not any better. It's so effective. It is so effective. But we're going to we're gonna replace our deep blues here. Got our spy. I'm feeling good about our team. He, he hasn't changed up what he's doing. He, yeah, he didn't put an out route or any. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play. Nice stop. We're, 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 we're trying to just make him work right here, really, to be honest with you. If we can make him work, we'll be good. I'm actually I'm actually going to keep him inside the pocket here. I'm going to move this. All right. I'm not replacing my deep blue this time. If he puts a streak, I'll watch it myself. We should be okay. Put the streak. I'm watching it. I don't mind it. We've got a spy. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, man. Just playing smart. So, like, what he's been doing to me is he's been getting outside the pocket, like, without, like, any problems. And the other thing he's been doing is just taking advantage of me not like having to guard the streak so what i'm doing is just trying to take away the other things now i know i'm taking away his corner out if i keep him in the pocket he can't throw that corner out over my soft squat but he's actually gonna go away from tight offset i'm very surprised by that he's had his most success from that we'll see how it goes here but i i expect to be oh he was able to quick hike that really fast ah uh, he's got streak specialist sometimes something i actually do is if you throw that streak to the guy with streak specialist they're never gonna drop it even if they get hit as they're catching they have pretty much glue for hands so good play by him there i'm gonna make sure i do the same things i've been doing Move out this soft squat. Like the spacing right there. Get my spy in. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna replace my deep blue. I don't mind lurking the streak myself for this play, simply because I feel like everything else is gonna be boxed, and we'll see how it goes. I'm on the streak. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. I know I got a quick shed. I know I got a quick shed. I shouldn't be capping at that, right? Except for the fact that if you guys go back in the replay, go ahead and look at it. Everything was absolutely boxed. Come on, man. Big plays coming up. Big plays. Big plays. Big plays. I got my spy. I'm not gonna give up anything. To do Sean Watson. He's going to have to do a good job getting outside the pocket on his own. I'm lurking the streak again. I don't think he's going to have anything. Kept him inside the pocket. Deion Sanders. Yes, sir. See, now that corner route is super crazy good when you can out, get outside the pocket, right? But I'm containing and I'm putting a spy. If he tries to do anything with getting outside the pocket, he's going to get stuck. So I'm keeping him inside the pocket. He tries to do that corner route and the soft squad is going to do, do a good job. The only way it's effective is if... You can get outside the pocket. So sometimes it just takes an adjustment, not necessarily a different coverage shell, but simply just, just an adjustment from you where you can just keep him from doing the things that he wants to do. He wants to get outside the pocket, you keep him inside the pocket. If he likes to throw from the pocket, maybe you send some pressure and make him roll. Different things for different people, make them uncomfortable, you'll be successful. With that being said, I did not play a good defensive game. I'm over here talking about I'm the smartest guy around. I'm playing great D. I played awful this game, and I this game probably should have been a lot, a lot, um, bigger margin than it is simply because I, I kept him close with one play touchdowns, man. I don't know what I was doing, but I'm up two possessions right here. I'm going to run the ball again. Be smart, guys. Win the game. If I have to punt here, he's going to probably have to get an onside kick regardless. So I'm going to run the ball again. That's not a problem. If he stops me, he stops me. I'll punt the ball. And roll forward for me. Ah, I, I want to go for this so bad. I want to go for it so bad, but this is chaos coaching. I'll be smart. I'll be smart. I'll punt the ball. He's gonna have to, you know what? Bump that. Bump that. We are going for it. This is this is chaos coaching. So I'll tell you guys that you should punt the ball, but I'm gonna go for it. But just so you guys know, you should punt the ball right here. He's gonna have to get an onside kick. He comes out in one four six. This should be GG's. If he if he blows up this, uh, all the power to him. Let's see if I can get this timing right too this time. Bam! Perfect timing. Bosif. Bosif. Oh, I was gonna try to get sticky on him. You guys know I don't get sticky often. I gotta take I gotta take advantage of my time, but. That's going to be the game. Looks like he's going to quit out. Guys, I'm really glad we got this game. You guys learned. I hope, hopefully you guys learned a lot. I felt like I was really descriptive on offense. I'm showing you guys how to attack the user. 
how to stretch them so that they can't they can't cover everything on the field that you put out there. Knowing their coverage shell, knowing knowing what they have to guard is very important. I tell you guys on defense that you guys have to know what you need to guard, right? So if I'm if I'm gonna cover two and I'm sending six, I know the middle of the field is mine. If I'm gonna cover three and I'm sending a blitz and I take off my flat, I know I have to guard the flat. Different things on defense, knowing what you have to use her is important for them too, knowing what they have to use her and, and stressing them. So hope this was helpful for you guys. I know I didn't play the best defense, but you guys can learn from my mistakes too, right? It's not just my good plays, it's my bad plays too, but Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.